Hi, everyone. Um, yeah, thanks for the introduction. Um, my name is Matthew. I'm the uh, CEO and co-founder of Viking. And Viking is a company, it's a computer vision company, and we build AR try-on technology for footwear brands. So the big thing here is that every year there are 23 billion pairs of shoes that are produced. And increasingly, all of the like footwear sales are moving online, and um, a lot of that's also moving to mobile. But there's it's a great experience buying online, but there's one thing that you're actually currently not able to do, and that's to actually try the shoes on through the smartphone camera. Um, and this is what we've been working on for, for the last year now. So this is, we've just launched um, our mobile app and our SDK called uh, Sneaker Kit. Um, and this allows for like, live um, AR try-on of, of shoes directly from your smartphone camera. You just point it down towards your feet and you're able to see the, uh, the 3D models um, appear there. So this is, uh, you're very close to the product and um, it's, uh, it's just another way that you can uh, engage with the product. And um, yeah, it's, we're really excited to launch that today. So it's, it's 3D foot tracking. Um, we've just launched this and we're open to work with all the major footwear brands as the first SDK solution in the AR foot tracking market. Um, this is, if you look at what's been going on in the like, consumer AR, it's really taken off with face tracking. So every day millions of people use face tracking or like AR in Facebook, Facebook Messenger, Instagram, L'Oreal acquired Modiface. So this is like a, a very normal behavior for people now that they, they yeah. use the, computer vision technology that, that, um, that is, um, allows them to entertain themselves or provides utility with um, virtual makeup application. So we believe that the next big consumer AR application where people consistently use um, 3D foot tracking or AR try-on um, will be for sneakers, um, which is why we've launched uh, Sneaker Kit. So just to go into uh, some of the, the product details, the SDK is very lightweight, it's only seven megabytes, so that makes it really easy for any e-commerce platform or any brand's direct-to-consumer app to integrate it without weighing down the app too much. Um, it's multi-platform, currently it's um, on iOS, um, and within the next two months we'll be leasing, releasing the Android version. We have very fast and stable tracking. Um, we're always adding in more data into the data set so that the AR try-on feature is able to work um, in all all conditions, different lighting. Also, we're making it possible to actually work on top of actual shoes and so that you don't have to have your sho shoes removed. Um, it's a, we have our own 3D graphics engine. We also have a plugin to Unity. It also works with uh, Apple Scene Kit. So however anyone wants to use it, um, we, we have different options there. And we're also working on lighting estimation so that your, it looks even more realistic and that it's, um, the lighting is adapted to, to the environment that the user is in. So I'm just going to take you through some of the applications of this technology. And the, the first one obviously being uh, for closer product engagement. So let's take the example of uh, StockX. Um, and if they integrate the Viking SDK and the, the users of the app update their app, then the next time that they're in the app, um, they would be able to notify their users and say, AR try is now available. And um, they would get to the, the product page. Um, and our, there's, then there's an AR try on button. They tap that. That opens the camera feed. And they're directly able to see what the shoe would look like on them. And this, is, this just really allows people to get a lot closer to the product and to really get a feel for, for how it looks, how it looks on them. They can use it in the mirror as well. Um, and it's just. Um, it's really a, a, a major reason for people to actually even switch platforms. If some of them start to offer this technology, then um, it's going to become a very expected um, feature by users. And this is a, quite an important point in introducing this technology. Um, it's very important to measure what's actually going on um, and how it's affecting um, conversions. So. There are new KPIs that we're going to have um, in the in the AR space. I mean, this is there are already some companies working on this, um, but measuring the camera activation rate, the time of interaction in AR, 
and what the overall um, AR conversion uplift is, it's so important that the brands and e-commerce platforms really measure this to increase the uptake of AR in general and also for um, AR footwear try-ons. Uh, the, se the second big application is in the uh, creator and customization uh, space. So all of the brands now, Nike, Adidas, New Balance, they all have um, these, uh, these tools where uh, people can go in, spend a lot of time and a lot of money um, on, on creating their own customized model. And AR try-on is going to be a very important piece in this process because you're able to create, create something, see how it looks, tweak it a bit, go back, and it's just it's going to allow people to get a lot closer to, to their creation and that they're very attached to it already and this is just helping them in that, in that process to create their, their perfect pair of shoes. And it's not just online that people are going to be using this. Like it, we foresee a future where in store you'll be able to customize a model, put your foot to a mirror, see how it looks, and this is also going to be um, a major application of the, of the technology. And in the not too distant future, we also believe that you'll be able to create your perfect 3D model, customized exactly how you want, and actually just have that 3D printed inside a, a retail outlet. And they're all, like Adidas, Nike are already working or toying with uh, this idea of 3D printing shoes, and um, AR Triumph for us will be uh, a major part in the pre-production process. Now, in the value in e-commerce is, um, is, we believe, is, is, is enormous. So footwear e-commerce is already a huge market and it's still growing and set to re a reach a market size of 200 billion by 2022. So the, the, and as more and more traffic moves to mobile, um, having features like this are gonna be very important for, um, for the platforms and also just they'll be, it will be expected by consumers as well. So there are two, um, but AR trying on e-commerce is, um, is very important because a lot of people don't actually even shop online because they, they're concerned or they don't like the fact they're not actually able to see what something looks like on them. So by introducing AR try on, you actually, you're addressing the, that problem that people have that, okay, you can shop online now and you can actually see what it looks like and ultimately you'll be able to tell people what size they need through our technology. And also you have people that do shop online, but they, they, they don't convert that frequently because they also have that same problem with that. I'm not sh quite sure how it looks on me. So with our technology, you'll be able to increase conversions and attract brand new customers. Then, ooh. oh yeah, the, uh, sorry. The, the, if we look into returns now as well, it's a huge problem um, for e-commerce, and if we just look at the, the annual cost um, that um, returns are, are set to reach, just driven by style and taste, not, not, not sizing, um, this is set to reach eight billion um, by 2022. And people, it's a very normalized behavior now. People shop online, they buy five, six different pairs of shoes. Often they'll return all of them uh, because they don't like how they look, or they'll return five and keep one. And this is, this is a major problem for um, e-commerce platforms and for brands now. So our technology will allow people to basically try on hundreds of different pairs of shoes directly from the comfort of their own home, um, which we believe, this is, this is a hypothesis that obviously we'll be testing with brands that we work with, um, this should turn those customers that are currently not profitable into more profitable customers. So the, um, the, the uh, sneakerhead community is, is, is massive, and this is, this is something with an area where there's been a huge amount of growth in the, um, in the sneaker space in the, in the last few years. Uh, they said they, they've become real collector's items, and like the sneakerhead culture, they're, they're, they love the thrill of the chase, they love the, uh, the ability to get something that is very exclusive, and it's, a, it's become bigger and bigger and bigger. And like people have these huge collections, and this is um, it's really a big part of the, the culture now. One of the biggest uh, sneak heads being DJ Khaled. This is very 
like intertwined with hip hop and uh, hip hop culture as well. And the way that we see our technology being used to excite and um, just generate a lot of buzz um, around sneaker releases is by having something that we call a, a virtual drop. So uh, this, would, this means that you can have the AR try-on feature inside um, the sneakers app, let's say here, and you can have like a 30 minute period where people are able to try on the, the upcoming release through AR. And this, this was, it's just another way to create a lot of buzz and, ex and excitement around um, a product release. And um, it's another way of really making people go a bit crazy for, for, for the product. And finally, I would just talk, everything that we've spoken about until now has been about um, shoes that exist in the real world. Um, we, uh, something that we're working on, we believe the, is the future as well, is the, the virtual only collection, stuff that you're only able to get in the digital space. Um, you can have all sorts of things you can do um, uh, with AR that you cannot do um, with the real world in the real world. So, augmented rea reality apparel, um, with, like virtual sneakers, with uh, uh, this something that we're working on right now is we're, we're not just focused on footwear, we're also working on full body tracking solutions. Um, and here's, a, here's an example of, if you download the Sneaker Kit app, you can actually see this, um, this model here. So this is like a, a Nike NASA model and there's a, like a video texture running underneath the shoe, um, which has got, it's very spacey. Um, and this is just the beginning of what we believe is going to be an, another way that people express themselves through, um, through augmented reality. And as we extend out beyond, um, beyond the foot and beyond foot tracking, we're also we're building a platform where people will be able to um, dress themselves up um, through augmented reality. So you can have the craziest graphics, the craziest outfits, uh, dress yourself up at the tap of a button. This is not, this wouldn't necessarily, it's not a live, um, it's not in real time, um, and, but it was a, uh, it's another way that we see self-expression evolving, that the, the rest of the body will become the canvas, um, as we've seen happen with Snap's Lens Studio and uh, Spark AR. Um, we think fashion is also going to move in this direction as well. Yep, that's, thanks a lot for, um, for listening. Uh, if you've got any questions, just uh, let's talk afterwards. Thank you.